What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with another episode of Minecraft First Timers. I'm here with Trump's number one fan, Jamie Reagan. How are you? <laughs> That's not what I meant when I said I wanted to open it with Trump's <laughs> mug shot. Uh, somebody put it on screen. Put it on screen. Yeah. Do we have an editor? If there is an editor out there, put it on Do screen. we have an editor in chief? That was up. That was up. What's up, President? Joke. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! You know, Commander and Editor and Chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, no, I got, I got that. Far. Yeah, it seems like, uh, seems like you didn't, you didn't laugh, so I was just confused if yeah, you understood uh, what I was going with. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. Uh, yeah, to anyone who watched the first, maybe third of the last video and then clicked away, uh, we didn't finish it. So, uh, what we're gonna do in this one is finish it. Well, I wanted to make a staircase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, uh, well, hold on. This is going to be the wall. So you. Wait, just make sure make sure you got it spaced out right. Yeah, because uh, you can't have it start like that. So ha have it start like. Honestly, I'd have it start on this wall. Actually. Yeah, because uh, I can be on that one. It's not going to change much. And then we'll, we'll do that there. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we, we got it. We got it. And that goes there. And then we go. Ah. Oh, my God. All righty. Is, is, is this your first time building? <laughs> just That's just a Minecraft humor. Just Minecraft or humor. Just Minecraft things. Uh... But, yeah. Somebody, yeah. yeah, yeah so, that. yeah. You go that ahead. shot is hilarious. That that's how we had to start. That was about it. That's all we had. No, uh, what I was saying was that mug shot of Donald J. Trump. One, I'm getting demonetized immediately. Why do it, if you say the middle initial, I think you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just saying it as you see, just just as you see it. <laughs> he he says it as he sees it. Uh. But as I was saying, uh, that mugshot goes hard. You throw that thing on a tapestry in a college dorm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you can buy your own tapestries right now at bigbluebug.com/slash/merch. Okay. I don't know what bigbluebug. That'd be nice. You you want to make me a merch store? You didn't you? For a while, weren't you making funny T-shirts? Could you tell us that story? Um, or is that not something I, you want to talk about? I never did like oh I, I like I never did or or not for a while. I did a very short stint making like trying to do basically the dropship equivalent of like selling t-shirts. Print on demand. Uh, yeah, like P POD stuff. And uh I did it like it was like right when the Patriots won a Super Bowl. I tried to do like uh like targeted stuff and I sold like a few, but I don't think I I think I broke even. That's my most successful venture in that field. Uh, I did run a clothing brand for a while. Uh, and now so. it's called Abercrombie and Fitch. And <laughs> yeah. you guys might have heard of it. It's just a little thing called H&M. Ever heard of her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it was uh, – it, that was like my COVID thing. Like, you know how everyone kind of picked up a, a hobby? A little Mine quirky was, hobby. Yours was making – t-shirts making making clothing well um my big thing was hoodies but i did do t-shirts as well um my t my t-shirts were all right uh i still have quite a few of them so that's how i feel about those but i did manage to sell oh you my, weren't my actually hoodies. drop shipping them like you were no i so I, I i found a distributor i ordered uh like six hundred dollars worth of blanks uh found a guy near me that would like a like a manufacturer near me yes oh no not fulfillment but just like a like a manufacturer and so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I found i found that guy to actually do the embroidery work for me um and uh so i had him do that uh and then i like ran it through like shopify uh and all that shipped out of my house um did all right i didn't really know what i was doing uh and then ended up stopping I stopped doing it because there was so much uh, like capital that I needed. Not like a ton of money 
uh, it was maybe like two thousand dollars we were talking that I needed like what liquid tax this. Yeah, but I I was uh, going into my senior year of college and like I just uh, I had to like pay for everything myself, uh, so I was just strapped. Fair. Also, I took loans to pay for some stuff, and they decided to give me three thousand dollars less than I applied for. Uh, and they're like, yeah, your school says you don't need that much. And I was like, yeah, it's for my housing though. So. Oh, and then you're out of pocket it. Yeah. So I just, I had to find three grand and it was literally like everything I had saved up. Like I had worked for a, cause I had to, I also had to quit my job. Cause like COVID was like changing everything. Like my, yeah. my work hours shifted and like there's less classes available. And so like basically to graduate, like I had to quit my job and I was like, yeah, that's like, it wasn't i was just working at a cable company so it wasn't like game changer hmm, hmm. but uh you know it was, it was how i paid my rent and then i was like yeah now i have to borrow my rent so that's not cool yeah i guess that makes sense so you gave up on your dreams to graduate college i <sighs> yeah so something kind of weird this gives me a little, with a little, little story um i've kept mildly in touch with that manager and two or three times he's uh offered not directly offered me a new position but basically said like hey we have an opening uh and they're really big about rehiring people so uh it would be his decision who to rehire so basically offering me the job without offering me the job uh and i've I've turned it down every time because it's just not what i want to do but the most recent time i told him i was moving to france and he gave me like a little bit of an attitude. He was like, "Oh, it's with a girl, isn't it?" <laughs> Dude's jealous. Yeah, I was, he also had this weird thing where he tried to get me to date his daughter. It, like he he kind of joked about how he would never let me date his daughter. But and then he's uh, like, "But like, what if?" <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, "Well, but she is going to the same school as you." And it's like, "All right, well, that's not gonna happen." I'm. So I've been uh, speaking about, you know, dating daughters and parents wanting to be. I've been uh, watching the show Vikings. Came out like years ago. And I recently started watching it. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of these parents who want to have their children date someone. And by date, I mean, you know, a little bit more than date. I don't actually. Don't yeah, it, 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 it's incesty. It's it's just part of the Vikings. It's very uh, very just odd. A, just a Viking thing. It, yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's a Viking thing. You wouldn't understand. Hashtag just Viking things. Either way, I've been watching the show. Really good show. Would recommend. Excluding that, of course. Uh, kind of reminds me of uh. Did you ever watch uh? Do you ever watch uh, House of Dragon or like... Uh... Oh, the Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You didn't. No. 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 There's probably some people so mad at me. Uh, they're like, oh, you got to watch it. It's the greatest show ever, except for the, the last season. That one ruined it for me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about... You know, that was a pretty good uh, impersonation you did there. Did so many. There's nothing I hate more than people who are like, "You gotta watch this," just because they're really into it. See, and I'm not gonna do that. I feel like there isn't any. You, you. I, I've probably we may have we we must have hashed over favorite TV shows at some point. Do you have a favorite TV show? A TV show that you could go back to? Like, okay, I don't want to hear the freaking Office or something. I know maybe it is your favorite, but like a drama. Oh, look, at, like a drama. Um, Maybe you're a Breaking Bad guy. I feel like you might have been Breaking I Bad I actually guy. haven't seen Breaking Bad. What? Really? That one, that's going to rock. You got to watch that. What do you, you got to watch Breaking Bad? <laughs> How haven't you seen Breaking Bad? <laughs> really? What, what that, surprise, do? that does surprise me. What, do you live uh, under a rock? Yeah. I watch YouTube. <laughs> that's really what I do. Uh, well, if you don't I mean, have a favorite, uh, it's fine. No, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is one of the greatest shows of all time. I'll die in that hell. That is actually a banger answer. 
uh, I'm into it. That show. I'm into that answer. That's a good answer. Thank you. Uh, uh, what else? Um, I feel like I'm rewatching a show right now and I can't think of it. Okay, this this is. I feel like I'm gonna have to defend myself a little bit. I enjoy Rick and Morty. I don't fully <sighs> enjoy Rick and Morty people. Damn. It. But I. You I know, we had something good itself. going here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just regular shows don't engage my brain with the advanced. Oh humor. my <laughs> god! Stop. Really, Rick and Morty? Okay, I'm into it's it. A, have you ever seen it? Uh, I've watched it in passing. Oh, you got uh, It's one of my girlfriend's favorite shows. So I, it's a, it's a really good show. She watches um, it a lot. It's it's funny that because like they'll have episodes that are just kind of like throwaway episodes and they don't matter for anything, and then they also have uh, episodes that are like pretty heavy into the war. So. Like those, the combination of those, like you have some that make you like kind of just turn your brain off and not care. And then you have some that are like, oh, this is like why these characters are motivated to be the ways that they are. And like that kind of hooks you into it. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never was, a. Uh, I haven't, uh, I've, I feel like I've watched enough of it that I get the gist of it. Like I've watched actually probably a lot at this point. I probably watched almost every episode. I feel like it's not that long. It's gotten it's gotten long now, but like, uh, it's like six seasons now. So, six like ten episode seasons. So like they're starting to build the catalog. I uh, just like Mister Meeseeks. That's the that's my favorite. Yeah, it's a, it's a first season. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. It, it's a good show. I like. Um, I'm trying to, trying to think what other ones. Uh. I haven't I haven't watched all of this show, but I've been watching Abbott Elementary. Oh, uh, what's her? It's, she's a, she was uh, part of like uh, wasn't she in? She was in Buzzfeed, right? Wasn't that a? Uh... Oh, I I have no clue. Oh, I one of the, the the lead actress. Uh, I don't know if she's an actress or she's just the director. But oh, so, I have no clue. Somebody in that was uh, one of the famous Buzzfeed people. I did not know this. Ah, you don't um, want to watch anymore? I understand. Yeah. Actually, one of the writers for it. Oh, uh, she sorry, might be so a writer. I saw, I, don't know. I saw a comedian over the weekend. One of the writers uh, was, like, performing. Um, and he kind of was bombing. You could, you could tell he was new to doing stand-up. And he was probably just kind of doing it because of the writer strike. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, trying to pay the bills. Like, it, the stuff he had was kind of funny, but there was no... It was, like he said, 10 minutes of one-liners. Like, there was n no cohesion to it. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't, like, but, a real set. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was like he was testing material. Uh, but his his best line was, uh, if you don't... It was, like, after a joke flopped. Or, like, not flopped, but, like, just didn't do great. Sure. Uh, and he goes, <laughs> if you don't like these jokes... They're going to be on Abbott Elementary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that made me laugh real hard. And then. Was, and that was the only time you laughed when he made a joke about his own that show. That was the only time. Have you ever seen somebody bomb in comedy? Dude, I've never seen stand up. Oh, dude. Well, A, you got to. Um, mainly because. No, you, you got to do it. No, you got to watch it. Go watch uh, John Mulaney's Netflix. I know Netflix you day. like John Mulaney. You've said this a million times. But wait, there's more to what I was saying. Go watch Baby J on Netflix. And oh, you know, okay. In the I, bottom right I've... corner of the screen. Because I'm in it. I'm in it. Oh, did they, they film it over here? He filmed it in Boston. <laughs> oh. Uh, what I was going to say was I've watched stand up like online, but no, I've never, mm -hmm. uh, I've never been in person to stand up. It's a fun time to have a few drinks, go watch some stand up. Um, I've this is the first time I've ever seen someone bomb. I went to one, like, uh, what is it? one, like what you did? What's that called? Essentially ad living. I went to like one improv. Yeah. I went to an improv show once, which is, fun. which is stand up. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, same, same. Like, kind of like just not comedy sc theater. as scripted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, no, uh, de definitely go check one out. Um, but but I watched a guy, like the guy who came out the second opener after the dude who first one. I wouldn't say he bombed, but he just didn't kill. Um, second guy came out. I don't remember his opening joke, but like he murdered with it, like immediately took the room over, and I was like, oh, this guy is like, this is a performance. And then he made some like just pretty like lazy and like crude joke i don't remember the gist of it but he was it was like he had like brown hair and like a ginger beard and he was like oh it's like somebody shoved a traffic cone up my butt he used different words uh <laughs> but and you took that nobody... personally being a ginger <laughs> like, yeah, and i yeah. took that personally <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but nobody laughed and we were in a small venue so like it really didn't laugh, and so he he called it out. He goes, "All right, that one's not a winner. We're trying out some new jokes." And I don't know why, but that statement like he he lost the room at that point and never got it back. People were not laughing like really much at all. Uh, and I talked to my girlfriend after the show. I was like, "I hated those openers." And she was like, "Yeah, I kind of like that second guy uh, up until he said that thing, and then talked about how he's testing new jokes." I was like, yeah, that took me out of it too. So that's my story. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, what am I supposed to say to that? I don't know. I, th I thought you might have something you could you could chime in. Uh, no, I've I you know okay. So I do want to. I'm gonna. I surprise sound like fucking every YouTuber. I want to do. I want to try and do stand up at some point, even an open mic night. I want to try it at some point. I feel like I could. You know what I'm nervous of if I did do it? That a lot of my jokes are like stories. Because, you know, I usually just like tell my stories like at parties and things. And everyone gets a little giggle. I'm nervous yeah. I go up there and I Dane cook it. <laughs> and everyone's like, there's no punchline. He's just talking oh, and making yeah. loud noises and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you, you don't have that payoff moment. So you just kind of come to the end of it. Yeah. And then the story's just over. And I'm like, okay, next story. That that's how I felt in that last moment <laughs> when I wait. No, this this is just the quarter block. Uh, yeah, that's how I felt felt just a second ago when I finished talking about the guy bombing. I was like, there's no <laughs> there's no real payoff here. <laughs> this is just the end of it. Yeah, I don't know. That makes me uh that makes me nervous that that's what I'm gonna end up doing, and then someone's and then it's just not gonna be funny. Yeah, yeah, no, that's. That is a, a, a very valid fear. And, you know, I would still love to see Dane Cook. I thought he was so funny back in the day. Like, when I was a kid, I loved his stuff. But I do feel like now, looking back, I could see why some comedians don't like him. Yeah, definitely. A it's, a very, style, so. it's a very specific style, yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd just stand up. I say that. I would be horrified. But I, I think I would do it. Oh, see, I that, you know me, I'm I'm pretty confident. I I'm not like nervous of that. I'm just I'm nervous of bombing. I don't think I'd be nervous of going up there, but I'd be nervous while I'm up there that people aren't gonna get the jokes, and I'll end up dropping like a <laughs> right guys, <laughs> like you get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, that's actually the reason I did improv because my my fear was forgetting what I was gonna say on stage and just being up there. Uh, and so I was like, all right, I got to do something that makes me uncomfortable. And I was like, oh, improv is probably the thing that would fix that. Like, if I know how to be funny on a whim. Did it work? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done stand-up yet, but. Yeah. But I started making YouTube videos, so we'll see how it goes. By the way, new video. I don't know when this is going up, but it, I probably uh, won't. Probably Maybe I'll days. have some. What? If it's, if it's over a week. I, I don't think it's over a week. I'm not really recorded out right now. There's like, I was, go I was, so my YouTube, as you might know, is kind of all over the place right now. I've been dropping a bunch of, this guy's in weird arm, chain mail? Oh, they, they sometimes spawn with that. Uh, um, I, I would like to preface that I don't know, because uh, I don't use my, the channel I upload on regularly. Oh. Um, I have, my, my gaming channel has all my subs on it. Uh, or like all my mm. subscriptions uh so so i'm always on that channel do we have lava around this would go hard with a lava moat 
Uh, I mean, we, we could go into the nether and get some, or we can go, like, down into the caves and get some. There's probably some in these caves. But why is this tunnel so deep? Why did we do this? Well, because we wanted to have some sort of cool entrance, I guess. Yeah, this is the this is what. Why didn't we just go kill the Ender Dragon again? That would have been better content. Well, nobody wants to see us do it twice. Yeah, they do. Do they'll they? Watch they'll watch anything. They're here for the banter. Well, the banter is a a plus. It always is. It's, it's the best. It's like a stand up performance at your house. It's like Game of Thrones, but the good seasons. <laughs> Okay, so what I was going to say, because I wanted to go into my favorite. I was asking you strictly so I could talk about my favorite uh, TV shows, obviously. You're yeah, supposed okay. to return the question. You didn't. It's just kind of, you know, maybe. I thought you would have just mentioned it. You have this way of just talking. Anyways, continue. Uh, I have a couple favorites, okay? And one of them, I would strongly recommend. I'm not telling you you have to. I don't. I don't know what you're doing on your flight or whatever. Maybe you should maybe download it on your iPhone, your iPod, your tablet, your, I don't know, whatever. I already have a, a, something I plan to watch on the flight. <laughs> Do you? And, you you and thought this out already. Wow. You're going to kick me into a pitch. There's a there's a, actually a YouTube-created series that I'm really passionate about, uh, but I want to hear your thing before I go into this spiel. Okay, I was going to say uh, True Detective uh, on HBO. Haven't even heard of it. The, Actually, I think, isn't it just called Max now? Yes, it is on Max. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you mean you didn't hear of the freaking service provider? Was that your joke? What? Oh, I was... It didn't HBO rebrand HBO yes, Max? Yes, yes. Just Max? Yes. That was, my, that was my joke. I was... Oh, okay. I was... Correcting you on a, on a very bad rebrand. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like X. Um... Uh, True Detective has Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. I'm a big Woody Harrelson guy. I'm also a big Matthew McConaughey guy, obviously. But Woody Harrelson's great. And both of them are in the first season. And it's just an all-around banger. When did it come out? Uh, maybe 2010. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's an old one. I don't know. They've I made new seasons I since. Like maybe 2015 it. or 16. It, it could have been more recent. But it definitely wasn't like... 2020 like it's this been is one out. of those like boomer shows you watch yeah boomer shows i watch. what are you doing what do you mean boomer shows i watch no just because like you're so much older than me i just figured like oh the the shows you watch like i probably just don't get it you need to you clear know? your next summer because i'm gonna have my 30th um busy that day are you really tur turning 30? Dude, I'm turning... Yeah, I'm, I turned 29 this year. When is your birthday? Well, I'm not going to say it on video. You're not going to say your birthday on video? I don't know what if you, I've... What are, you, what are you afraid of? A happy birthday wish? <laughs> <laughs> it, I'll probably say it. It's uh, the 27th, so it's only a... I think it's Sunday? Oh, dude, I didn't know what it was. I was like... I was like... Uh, Oh what? Oh okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sorry, sorry. Uh, well, that that's now I now <laughs> that would have been really awkward. I might have I might have missed it and not said happy birthday. And You'll see my Instagram story. You know I'll repost somebody being like, oh, no, it's the best person in the world. I'll make you, I'll make you a real nice one. We got pictures together, so I expect you to post. I expect you to post like I'm a a girl. And we're best friends. And you do the fakest post you've ever seen on Instagram. That's what I'm looking forward to. Like, I, I will th dial it up to a level. I want like a paragraph that's like, we've been through it all. <laughs> I'll post it on my, my, on day, my personal day. My day one, but not really my day one. Like I want something <laughs> hard. Do I, do I post it? On, I'll, I'll post one on my personal and a different one oh, on my, my uh, goodness. creator account. I like that whenever you message me on Instagram, you're never really sure which one to message, so you include both. I have messaged both multiple times because, no, I don't know which one. Because you you use them both. It feels like interchangeably. I know they're not actually used interchangeably, but you, I feel like you reply to my stories on both. 
this is I do reply to your stories on both. Um, I thought so. So yeah, that's probably why I message on both. I think I've even made group chats with both of them in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that my, my comment was related in the group chat. Ah. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. Publicly I use them in very separate regards. Yeah, yeah. I know the uh, posts on them, but like like DMs wise, you're kind of on both. Yeah, no, I I'll respond on either of them. Okay, well. Not wait, wait, not to you, viewer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you right there, not you. You don't message me on those. Have you ever had somebody <clears throat> message you kind of like parasocially? I, yes, but I feel like I don't want to roast them oh, okay. then, on then you, video. I don't think I don't think you've had it in the way that I've had it. I've had it a little, nothing like, okay, so back in the day, I don't really talk about it because I'm not like, I'm not really going to get into it too much, but you know, back in the day, I used to do YouTube before I did this. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah and I'll, I'm that. probably just going to leave it at that. I used to do like, like, uh, almost like, like prank channel type stuff. Not like anything super bad, but like, I don't know. We do like, it's yeah. Like good content that you put effort into. It was not like it, good stuff. It was a little bit more edited than this, and we had, like, a little... It was, like, a thousand subs, but, like, we had, like, regular, like, people who would, like, follow us. And... And the videos got much more views than this gets, but that doesn't matter. Uh, either way, we did that, and when I did that, people would think I was their best friend. And yeah. although it was, like, flattering at first, it kind of gets a little weird... Because, like, one, I didn't see myself as someone that was important. Because why I wasn't. Let's be honest. I'm not saying I didn't see myself like I was and I didn't see it. I wasn't important. And then people would try and, like, be my friend based on, like, they'd message me and be like, dude, that video you filmed was so funny. Like, what do you think you're doing next? On, like, my private Instagram or something? I'm like, yeah, no. I was like, I, I don't know what I'm doing next. I appreciate you watching, but, like, there's nothing... I don't think there's <laughs> like I would reply nicely. Like I'm not gonna be a jerk to anyone, but it was always kind of yeah. a little bit like odd. Like it wasn't like fan like. It was kind of like let's be friends like. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't know. You had it. You had it really weird. I feel like you're. Yeah. I feel like you. Your whole content is you, which is also probably why I used to get it more then versus now. Although this is me. It's like gaming. I get a lot of people messaging me now that are like, I get people messaging me now that will tell me they liked my series. Or I get a lot of people messaging me <laughs> on uh, Instagram. And maybe like once a week, someone will be like, dude, I saw your video on YouTube. Can you just tell me how to do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I saw you play, uh, it's usually with all my little niche games. They'll be like, I saw you play YouTubers Life too. How do I become a musician? In that game, I'm like, okay. Uh, like, all right, here's what you gotta do. Yeah, and I'll usually give him a nice reply, tell him what's up. But I should preface before I get into this. Yeah, yeah, you go. You that go. nobody right now is doing this to me, which is sick. It's dope. I love it. Um, actually, like, like there's, I think there's a difference between like being a regular. Like, there's people who I see comment on all my like a bunch of my stuff or like almost all of it, and it's like, by all means, like. I have under a thousand subs. Yeah, but same, same. You, you can comment and like almost infer that I have seen you before or that like I have seen your comment before 100%. because I have. Yeah. Like, like, same. Um, like, I, I don't care about that. Nobody does anything like crazy. Um, but back when I was like much more into like gaming, mm -hmm. uh, I had somebody, uh, like, like I'd stream a lot. I used to be like, I would like not like a big streamer like views wise, but like big streamer as in like I streamed often. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I I'd have people that would come into my stream a lot, and uh, what was a little awkward for me was these people like I'd see them a bunch like I'd talk when there's not many people in your stream you, you are just really having a one on one conversation with them, um, and so eventually a lot of these people would end up. I just make the mods because I'm like, I trust you. Like there's going to be some spammer that comes in here. Like, you know, you're cool enough to, to do it. And then, yeah. 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 Um, but th there was this like one girl who like came in and 
it was like cool treated her just like the way everyone else did but then this is like when i was in very early high school and like so were my friends but like she started messaging one of my friends and like asked like if i was in like a relationship and like that and, and now you're dating it. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, yeah, but no, but she she just like basically did like all this like kind of digging on me, and they're like, "Oh, I have a crush on him," like blah blah blah, and it was just super weird because like I had to like kind of be like, "Hey," I had to say to my friend like, "Hey, stop," and then I had to kind of also like deal with that situation, and be like, "Like, sorry, like this that's not that's thing. not what's going on here." Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't had I feel like I probably used to have that, but I was just like so clueless that I was like I'm not like that wasn't like I feel like it never got to that extreme, although I pr- I probably could have pretty easily. Like I don't know. People are not, I don't know. I I feel like sometimes it's tough to catch cues online. And I could understand how somebody could mistakenly think, "Ah, maybe we're actually like close friends or something like i could see yeah. how you could get there but oh my sorry i'm really dumb i was couldn't understand why i had deep slate and not cobbled deep slate and i realized i think it's because i have self touch my pickaxe i've been spending 15 minutes trying to figure this out i thought i had uh i thought there'd be lava down here and there definitely isn't we have lava in our lava generator. <sighs> yeah, you forgot about the episode, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so this is a th- uh, or like a little bit of a reference to a previous video we made. But I talked about I wanted to release something, and it was kind of related to gambling. And I was like, is that ethical? Like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, lo and behold, that like blew up my TikTok page got a ton of stuff uh from it but uh i also got a ton of dms of people asking me to basically sell out and they're like oh promote this promote this and i'm i'm gonna read this message verbatim because like how like wild it is give me one second just uh just stall for a second stall for a second okay so you so you went for it though you sold out uh no i did not sell out where is it James, like, I didn't like, sell out. We didn't do a sponsor read last step, so we're off our game. <laughs> this, uh, we haven't done it in a while. The sponsors, ever since you got in that incident, like, they've not, they've been quick to stay away. And rightfully so on them. Hmm. Okay, as you were uh, saying. Yeah, this, this is what this kid said to me. This, this, keep in mind, this is just a random dude, like, DMing me. Um, but he said, uh, hey, Jamie, love the content. Um, like I have an odd proposition, but I thought I'd shoot me and my partners are soon going to be opening a sports gambling discord and would love to see if you'd become uh, a mod slash shot caller. Keep in mind in my series that was going on where I was making sports picks, I was not getting anything right. Like I was losing every time, but that was also kind of the point of the series. Uh, and they're like, We'd offer you fifty percent like lifetime sales, blah blah blah. Not a um, bad deal. You taking it? I, I didn't respond to it, and and then he sent another thing. He's like, "Oh, I think you're. Uh, I assume you're skeptical. Like, if there's anything I can clarify?" And I I roast him. I'm like, "I'm gonna keep it honest with you. Like, your pitch is that you and your friend are gonna do something soon, uh, but there's a lot of people that talk about something they're gonna do and they never do it. So your pitch is you're gonna start a group." I can provide the whole audience for you, and I get to keep half of the money. I was like, doesn't seem like a great offer. Um, and like, I gave him this whole. I this have whole done thing. that roast before to people. I I sent like five messages. I'm not gonna read all of them. I basically gave him a business plan. I'm like, you gotta change stuff up. Uh, and then, like, a, two weeks later, he responds, uh, and he's like, yeah, we decided not to do it. But the line he hit me with. He said, uh, I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing and open up a paid Discord. They are cash, they being my audience, are cash cows if you have an audience to push to them. And it's like, wow, that is the scummiest thing I've heard. Doesn't get it. Josh, okay, so the way you said that, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. 
Yeah, I just won't say the brand. Uh, Josh got reached out recently. Uh, bring the party, my brother. Uh, by a brand. And they run a... Uh, super interesting. They run a chain of... Uh, gaming cafes and they're like dude you want can we uh we we're opening one like in your region we'd love for you to be sponsored by us josh is like what so i think josh is actually in contact with them oh that's he t totally should i was like that's pretty dope i don't know what like i i assume they'd probably want him to go stream there or something but i was like that's kind of sick <laughs> any anyone who like has like an audience and like like if you have an audience and there's like a genuine product that's not like you're f scamming your audience like go get your bag i love when i see creators that i support like doing ad deals like i always comment on it i'm like oh get your bag yeah when uh, you're doing so when you're actually like a decent person i think it's dope problem is a lot of people i feel like a lot of people don't and I think this is the downfall of a bunch of creators. They take the bag the second it's offered. Like, it could be any deal. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know how many people would probably get that stupid, shitty offer you got that doesn't even make sense? And be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I want it, I want it, I want it. And then the second they get offered any bit of money, even if it's unethical, they'll just jump on it. Yeah. And also, like, those unethical people so often don't pay. Oh, so like, if you I, knew they were going to pay, you would, uh, uh, you saying that you're actually not opposed to running a Discord betting service as long as you know the money's there. No, I, I think those are scams. Well, they are scams. It's like this, They're it's exactly like the same scams. people that are, that like make those courses on like how to be a YouTuber. It's like if you were such a good YouTuber, you wouldn't be making this course. You would just be a YouTuber. What do you, you mean if, if I could, okay, so. I feel like I'm really going into the rabbit hole here. But I used... I w love. Love watch... No! I'm going to guess you fell into lava? No, no. I'm still... Have you seen it say that I'm dead? No, a creeper no, blew no. up near our base. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, what were we saying? Uh, blew up a thing. I forgot where I was going. I've been really deep in the hole of freaking... Uh, multi-level marketing and what a sham that is like biggest sham ever and i've been on multi-level marketing uh TikTok? i guess youtube no youtube oh, okay. and i've been watching all these videos and dude people are so i just feel like there's a level of people who fall for that type of stuff that i don't want to you know blame them but i feel like some people are just very gullible yeah yeah 100 percent and I'm like, I listen to like what these people say about like how to earn money. And this girl does like reactions to like people's posts. And the posts are some of the worst things ever. They're like, oh, actually, I'm going to shit talk someone I know. Because you know what? I don't like her. And I'm not going to say her name because I think because she, she's in multi-level marketing. I think it's super unethical. And she, I don't know if she makes good money doing this. But she kept posting on her freaking, uh, what was that? On her YouTube? Son of a, could you guys please stop ruining everything? <laughs> she kept posting on her Facebook. Mm -hmm. And she kept posting, uh, do you need money now? Message me and I'll give you $2,000. And I, th she was harassing uh, my girlfriend, Emily to uh sign up for her thing and i was like wait she's just handing out money like i was all confused because i was like that's not that's not true this girl does not have money and she was saying she was handing out free money she was giving you the opportunity to earn two thousand dollars by getting like 10 people to spend two hundred dollars and you get like the sign up bonus i was like that is the scummiest thing to say, I'll give you free money. Just reply money to this and I'll hand out money today. It's an opportunity, Noah. All right. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it sell shakes. Dude. Vitamin mixes. Dude, that, it just feels so scammy. I hate it so much, dude. <laughs> I don't know why. Something like that just really gets me mad.
for no real reason. It really probably shouldn't. Maybe I'm getting unnecessarily upset, but oh. Uh, this sounds like a, actually a great video topic for me. <laughs> if you want to send me more about it, I'll t I'll make a whole thing on it. Dude, I'll I'll send you her Facebook page, and you could blur out whatever you want or not. I don't care. But it's just oh, and then she left her other one, and she just joined a new one. She, oh, she swapped MLMs. She swapped MLMs, and she was doing this. She's been doing this for like years. And she, I've met her, and it, she's, like, fake nice. Like, you talk to her, and she has that big, like, fake smile that you just kind of want to freaking hit. And the fact yeah. that she's in an MLM just makes so much sense. And I just, I don't like her. If you want to make a video on it, by all means. I think there's so much opportunity, because I, I think there's so many people that are, like, uh, annoyed by it that I think there's people looking it up, especially me, because I love watching all those videos, but... <laughs> The fact there's somebody that could be in one of those videos in my real life. Oh, I just, I, I can't get behind it. And I just feel like it's just such a scummy thing to do. To try and convince people that spending $500 with you will pay off. It doesn't. It doesn't. Don't sign up for an MLM. Which so. crazy is these people like think they're actually. I That's the thing. I'm the thing. I'm always questioning if she actually believes the stuff she's selling. And I... I, I, either she's just not, I feel like there's the people who will do it and just be like, well, I'm doing it because I want to make money. And I'm like, okay. But then there's always the level of, do you realize you're hurting all these, the large majority of the people who sign up, you're hurting? Like, I, I just don't know if people like to live in like blissful ignorance, which is what I really think it is. Or if they're just that clueless. I'm thinking it's blissful ignorance. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a mix. Like like the higher up in the pyramid you go, it's it's more people who are aware of what they're doing and they're just like, it's not my problem. Uh, but then like the further down you go, it's just not smart people. How do I make infinite lava? I cannot figure this out right now. You cannot make infinite lava. It's not a thing. Oh really? Yes. That's why I can't figure it out. <laughs> this is one of our best moments ever. Uh, can I, uh, I? I guess this is probably really late to mention this in a video. We're like way past video length. Yeah, it feels like it. We're just here. We're just having banter. Yeah. Uh, but I, I told, I'm gonna mention it because it's not, it's not a super big like deal, but uh. As you know, I uh, now earn money from TikTok. Mm. Uh, I'm peeling back the curtain how much I make. Ooh, okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Uh, I have made $5.50. Okay, how many views, though? What's the uh, CPM? CPM is usually between 80 and 90 cents. I feel like that's not um, bad. I'm, I'll, first, I'm, I'm going to look at it right now. I'm going to peel back my curtain because I'll tell you what my CPM is. Well, it's it's tough because you have to get qualified views. Okay. Um, so I don't know exactly what creates a qualified view. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Does it explain more? I'm sure there's an explanation. I'll be honest. I don't know how to see what my CPM is. Did they remove that? Oh, okay. I'm getting about $11 CPM, which actually feels pretty good. Yeah, actually, I think it's, that's really good. I don't know if that's $11 before or after YouTube takes their cut. Uh, that is, I believe. Actually, I don't know. I think it's before. I think it's after. I feel like it's wrong. after. But I don't know. $11. Um, how much did I make yesterday? Yeah, $11 sounds... Mm. I have no clue. All I know is TikTok says uh, the views have to be qualified. And I believe that means they have to watch for longer than 30 seconds. I, I've posted a few videos. 
and I feel like I've gotten views that are longer than 30 seconds, but I've been getting like two cents a day. So I have no problem. Uh, I need a I did have one $5 day. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm putting the last blix, blix, bricks in. You can do it looking down the hole. Okay, I'm trying to figure out this lava at some point. but Lava don't got to be in the thumbnail. No, I guess not. We'll figure it out over time. Oh, sorry, this is awkward. I'm just putting these last bricks in. I feel like the hole already looks pretty cool. Can you see this part here that has no bricks? No, you can't see it. I thought you could. Come in the middle. Come and come up a few of the circles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up a few. Come up a few. Yep, yep, yep. What if I like you think like right here? Uh, and and yeah. I just Yeah, look up at me. Oh what look at that. That's a cool that's that's, that's a it's a cool looking thumbnail. I think it'll look cool with the logo. Alrighty. Well, I feel like we were in the middle of nine conversations, but I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everyone's time and Oh, Whew, I lived. I appreciate everyone's time and viewership. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and go check out Jamie's content. He has a new video up as of like maybe a week ago now when this comes out. Um, maybe if if I'm good, maybe I'll have uploaded a new video by then. It won't be as long or in depth, but maybe. But maybe one can pray. Alrighty, guys, we will see you in that next one. Bye.